G proteins, also known as guanine nucleotide binding proteins, are a family of proteins that act as molecular switches inside cells, and are involved in transmitting signals from a variety of stimuli outside a cell to its interior. Their activity is regulated by factors that control their ability to bind to and hydrolyze guanosine triphosphate to guanosine diphosphate. When they are bound to GTP, they are on, and, when they are bound to GDP, they are off. G proteins belong to the larger group of enzymes called GTPases. There are two classes of G proteins. The first function as monomeric small GTPases, while the second form and function as heterotrimeric G protein complexes. The latter class of complexes is made up of alpha, beta, and gamma subunits. In addition, the beta and gamma subunits can form a stable dimeric complex referred to as the beta gamma complex. G proteins located within the cell are activated by G protein coupled receptors that span the cell membrane. Signaling molecules bind to a domain of the GPC are located outside the cell, and an intracellular GPC domain then in turn activates a particular G protein. Some inactive state GPCRs have also been shown to be pre coupled with G proteins. The G protein activates a cascade of further signaling events that finally results in a change in cell function. G protein coupled receptor and G proteins working together transmit signals from many hormones, neurotransmitters, and other signaling factors. G proteins regulate metabolic enzymes, ion channels, transporter, and other parts of the cell machinery, controlling transcription, motility, contractility, and secretion which in turn regulate diverse systemic functions such as embryonic development, learning and memory, and homeostasis. History G proteins were discovered when Alfred G. Gilman and Martin Rod Bell investigated stimulation of cells by adrenaline. They found that when adrenaline binds to a receptor, the receptor does not stimulate enzymes directly. Instead, the receptor stimulates a G protein, which then stimulates an enzyme. An example is adenylate cyclase, which produces the second messenger cyclic AMP. For this discovery, they won the 1994 Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine. Nobel Prizes have been awarded for many aspects of signaling by G proteins and GPCRs. These include receptor antagonists, neurotransmitters, neurotransmitter reuptake, G protein coupled receptors, G proteins, second messengers. The enzymes that trigger protein phosphorylation in response to CAMP, and consequent metabolic processes such as glycogenolysis. Prominent examples include the 1947 Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine to Carl Corey, Gertie Corey, and Bernardo Husse for their discovery of how glycogen is broken down to glucose and resynthesized in the body for use as a store and source of energy. Glycogenolysis is stimulated by numerous hormones and neurotransmitters including adrenaline. The 1970 Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine to Julius Axelrod, Bernard Katz and Yul von Euler for their work on the release and reuptake of neurotransmitters. The 1971 Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine to Earl Sutherland for discovering the key role of adenylate cyclase, which produces the second messenger cyclic AMP. The 1988 Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine to George H. Hitchings, Sir James Black and Gertrude Lyon for their discoveries of important principles for drug treatment targeting GPCRs. The 1992 Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine to Edwin G. Krebs and Edmund H. Fisher for describing how reversible phosphorylation works as a switch to activate proteins, and to regulate various cellular processes including glycogenolysis. The 1994 Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine to Alfred G. Gilman and Martin Rodbell for their discovery of G proteins and the role of these proteins in signal transduction in cells. The 2000 Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine to Eric Kandel, Arvid Carlson and Paul Greingard, for research on neurotransmitters such as dopamine, which act via GPCRs. The 2004 Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine to Richard Axel and Linda B. Buck for their work on G-protein coupled olfactory receptors. The 2012 Nobel Prize in Chemistry to Brian Kobilka and Robert Lufkowitz for their work on GPCR function. Function, 
G proteins are important signal transducing molecules in cells. Malfunction of GPCR, G protein coupled receptor signaling pathways are involved in many diseases, such as diabetes, blindness, allergies, depression, cardiovascular defects, and certain forms of cancer. It is estimated that about 30% of the modern drug's cellular targets are GPCRs. The human genome encodes roughly 800 G protein coupled receptors, which detect photons of light, hormones, growth factors, drugs, and other endogenous ligands. Approximately 150 of the GPCRs found in the human genome have still unknown functions. Whereas G proteins are activated by G protein coupled receptors, they are inactivated by GS proteins. Receptors stimulate GTP binding. RGS proteins stimulate GTP hydrolysis. Types of G protein signaling G protein can refer to two distinct families of proteins. Heterotrimeric G proteins, sometimes referred to as the large G proteins, are activated by G protein coupled receptors and are made up of alpha, beta, and gamma subunits. Small G proteins belong to the RAS superfamily of small GT bases. These proteins are homologous to the alpha subunit found in heterotrimers, but are in fact monomeric, consisting of only a single unit. However, like their larger relatives, they also bind GTP and GDP and are involved in signal transduction. Equals heterotrimeric G proteins equals. Different types of heterotrimeric G proteins share a common mechanism. They are activated in response to a conformational change in the GPCR, exchanging GDP for GTP, and associating in order to activate other proteins in a particular signal transduction pathway. The specific mechanisms, however, differ between protein types. Common mechanism Receptor activated G proteins are bound to the inner surface of the cell membrane. They consist of the GI plus or minus and the tightly associated GI squared I cube subunits. There are many classes of GI plus or minus subunits, XI plus or minus, GI plus or minus, GOI plus or minus, GQ slash 11I plus or minus, and G12 slash 13I plus or minus are some examples. They behave differently in the recognition of the effector molecule, but share a similar mechanism of activation. Equals activation equals, when a ligand activates the G protein coupled receptor, it induces a conformational change in the receptor that allows the receptor to function as a guanine nucleotide exchange factor that exchanges GDP for GTP, thus turning the GPCR on. The GTP is bound to the GI plus or minus subunit in the traditional view of heterotrimeric GPCR activation. This exchange triggers the dissociation of the GI plus or minus subunit from the GI squared I cube dimer and the receptor as a whole. However, models which suggest molecular rearrangement, reorganization, and pre-complexing of effector molecules are beginning to be accepted. Both GI plus or minus GTP and GI squared I cubed can then activate different signaling cascades and effector proteins, while the receptor is able to activate the next G protein. Equals termination equals, the GI plus or minus subunit will eventually hydrolyze the attached GTP to GDP by its inherent enzymatic activity, allowing it to reassociate with GI squared I cubed and starting a new cycle. A group of proteins called regulator of G protein signaling, act as GTPASE activating proteins, are specific for GI plus or minus subunits. These proteins accelerate the hydrolysis of GTP to GDP, thus terminating the transduced signal. In some cases, the effector itself may possess intrinsic gap activity, which then can help deactivate the pathway. This is true in the case of phospholipase C-beta, which possesses gap activity within its C-terminal region. This is an alternate form of regulation for the GI plus or minus subunit. However, it should be noted that such GI plus or minus gaps do not have catalytic residues to activate the GI plus or minus protein. They work instead by lowering the required activation energy for the reaction to take place. Specific mechanisms. Equals GI plus or minus S equals, 
GI plus or minus S activates the CAMP-dependent pathway by stimulating the production of cyclic AMP from ATP. This is accomplished by direct stimulation of the membrane-associated enzyme adenylate cyclase. CAMP can then act as a second messenger that goes on to interact with and activate protein kinase APKA can phosphorylate a myriad downstream targets. The CAMP-dependent pathway is used as a signal transduction pathway for many hormones including, ADH, promotes water retention by the kidneys, GHRH, stimulates the synthesis and release of GH, GHIH, inhibits the synthesis and release of GH, CRH, stimulates the synthesis and release of ACTH, ACTH, stimulates the synthesis and release of cortisol, TSH, stimulates the synthesis and release of a majority of T4, LH, stimulates follicular maturation and ovulation in women. Or testosterone production and spermatogenesis in men, FSH, stimulates follicular development in women. Or spermatogenesis in men, PTH, increases blood calcium levels. This is accomplished via the parathyroid hormone 1 receptor in the kidneys and bones, or via the parathyroid hormone 2 receptor in the central nervous system and brain, as well as the bones and kidneys. Calcitonin, decreases blood calcium levels. Glucagon, stimulates glycogen breakdown in the liver, HCG, promotes cellular differentiation, and is potentially involved in apoptosis. Epinephrine, released by the adrenal medulla during the fasting state, when body is under metabolic duress. It stimulates glycogenolysis, in addition to the actions of glucagon. Equals GI plus or minus I equals, GI plus or minus I inhibits the production of CAMP from ATP. Insulin works through GI second messenger proteins. Equals GI plus or minus Q slash 11 equals, GI plus or minus Q slash 11 stimulates the membrane bound phospholipase C beta, which then cleaves PIP2 into two second messengers, IP3 and diacylglycerol. The inositol phospholipid dependent pathway is used as a signal transduction pathway for many hormones, including ADH induces the synthesis and release of glucocorticoids. Induces vasoconstriction, TRH, induces the synthesis and release of TSH, TSH, induces the synthesis and release of a small amount of T4, angiotensin II, induces aldosterone synthesis and release, GnRH, induces the synthesis and release of FSH and LH. Equals GI plus or minus 12 thirteenths equals, GI plus or minus 12 thirteenths are involved in Rho family GTPASE signaling. This is through the Rho GEF superfamily involving the Rho GEF domain of the protein structures. These are involved in control of cell cytoskeleton remodeling, and thus in regulating cell migration. Equals GI squared equals, the GI squared I cubed complexes sometimes also have active functions. Examples include coupling to and activating G protein coupled inwardly rectifying potassium channels. Equals smogged bases equals. Smogged bases also bind GTP and GDP and are involved in signal transduction. These proteins are homologous to the alpha subunit found in heterotromers, but exist as monomers. They are small proteins that bind to guanosine triphosphate. This family of proteins is homologous to the rasked bases and is also called the ras superfamily bases. Lipidation, in order to associate with the inner leaflet of the plasma membrane, many G proteins and smogged bases are lipidated, that is, covalently modified with lipid extensions. They may be myristylated, palmitoylated, or prenylated. References External links GTP binding proteins at the U.S. National Library of Medicine Medical Subject Headings